Another very common thing is um, heading L and then you can use inner HTML. And let me actually show you the, the difference between the two. So with this text content, let's say I want to wrap every, the word everyone in a span because I want the word everyone to have a bigger font size, let's say. Right? So I, I can even give it a class heading dash dash big. Right? So I'm trying to create a new span. Right? That's, there, should be an, there should be an HTML element. That's what I would want, right? right so now we, ha we have one uh, HTML element here, the H1. But I now also want to create a span element uh, around everyone, right? So let's see if this works. So if I save this and reload, well, this will not work. It will, it will actually treat span as literal text, right? So it will actually write out span. Right? You can see here in our overview elements here, this is not an HTML element right now, span, it's just text. If you want the string to be parsed as HTML, we can use inner HTML. Right, let me actually copy this string. I'm going to comment this out. So now I'm going to refresh again. And now you can see a new element in the HTML has been created, right? Because you can see if, if I hover this, it will actually show it on the page. Right, so with text content, it will not parse this as HTML. It will just parse it as regular text. With inner HTML, it will parse the string as HTML. So it will actually create the HTML elements for us if we run it like this. And then of course we can select this. Right, so we can select this span and we can do something like font size 55 pixels. Right, so we're using BEM uh, here for the class names. Uh, again, if you wanna learn about that, check out my CSS course. If I reload here, you can see now everyone has 55 pixels of font size, right? It's overwriting the previous font size. This is actually the behavior that, that we want with BEM. Okay, so this, these are two very common things. Another very common thing is, uh, let me actually save here and refresh, right, to, uh, to reset again. Now, another very common thing is, let's say, because here we are replacing it, right? When we did this, we're replacing this tag, but maybe I don't want to replace it. Maybe I just want to add something after it, for example, right? So I can also say heading insert adjacent HTML, right? And then in here, it's, it's slightly different, but it's still string, right? So now we actually have to give an input to a function. Right? So let's actually use the same string here. Right, if I do it this way, and now reload, we get an error. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so here we get an error, and so says, fail to execute, two arguments required. Okay, so we have given it one input. This is called an argument, and it needs two, right? So what we have to do here is actually give another input, because I forgot to specify where, which position you want to insert this HTML. Should it come before the text or after the text, for example? Let's say that we want, we want it to, oh, it actually gives us the options here. Right, so we, let's say we want to do it before the beginning. Right, so this string should be parsed as HTML and it should be inserted before the beginning. Okay, so now, Hello everyone comes before the other text, right? So this is also uh, a way of inserting HTML. Here we were replacing it, right? We were replacing the entire string with a different string. Here we are simply adding uh, HTML, right? And we still have the old uh, text as well, right? So these are very common ways of manipulating the, the text content and the HTML. All right. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.